Well, let's get some more on this. Glenn Alexander Crowther joins us from Washington, D.C. He's a senior fellow at the Center for European Policy Analysis. Uh, Glenn, thank you very much indeed for your time. Um, there are already quite a number of European forums and world groups to discuss these sorts of security and energy issues. Uh, do you think we need another one? And, and for you, what sets this one apart? Well, what sets this one apart is it's got everybody. You know, the European Union has 27 members, NATO has 30 members. Um, so all of these exclude somebody. The nice thing about the European political community is it brings literally everybody together but Belarus and Russia. But it doesn't have the US or Canada, and they're clearly interlocked and interlinked with many of the issues that will be discussed at the table. Uh, certainly, the United States and Canada are deeply interested and interwoven in European security. However, uh, you know, as Europeans keep saying, the Europeans have to have a, a, a platform to discuss this kind of stuff so that they can come up with their voice. Uh, there's no use in them having 44 different actors uh, aligned uh, differently, perhaps, than the United States or differently than Russia. So I think it's a great idea to have them all in one room at the same time. And, and from what you can gather, what do you think the key message to come out of today is? I mean, it's, it's a first meeting, of course, so they're just testing the ground. We're, we're not absolutely sure if there will even be a second meeting, although one assumes that that, that will be in the planning going forward. So it's supposed to go uh, EU host, non-EU host, and the UK has already volunteered to hold the next meeting in six months' time. Um, the, the key thing is that, uh, that uh, in spite of intractable differences uh, between, say, Turkey and Greece or uh, Armenia and Azerbaijan or Ukraine or Russia, you can move things forward. Um, you know, you, we just saw uh, the Armenian and Azerbaijani leaders uh, speaking together with President Erdogan. Uh, I think that's a great thing because they don't generally talk to each other. No, well, talking always helpful. Let's hope it does not become uh, just another talking shop, as has been potentially rumoured. Glenn Alexander Crowther, thank you very much indeed for your input, uh, joining us live there from Washington, D.C.